I knew a man once, a peculiar sort. He'd walk around muttering to himself, saying they can hear me. I never knew who they were, but it was clear that he was terrified of them. The man would try to hide in the shadows, avoiding any form of attention. I saw him often on my walks through the woods, and I always wondered what he was so afraid of. I asked him once, but he just shook his head and walked away. One night, there was a terrible storm. Thunder boomed overhead and lightning went up the sky. I was huddled inside my cabin, praying that the trees wouldn't come crashing down on me. But then I heard a knock at the door. I hesitated, wondering who would be out in such weather. When I opened the door, there stood the man, soaking wet and shaking with fear. They can hear me, he muttered, and I invited him inside. He sat down by the fire, still muttering to himself. I offered him some whiskey, hoping it would calm his nerves, but he just kept repeating those words. I tried to get him to tell me who they were, but he wouldn't say. As the storm raged on outside, the man's muttering grew louder and more frantic. Suddenly, he stopped and looked me in the eye. They're here, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I didn't know what he meant until I heard the sound of footsteps in the hallway. I jumped up, ready to defend myself, but the man just sat there, staring into the flames. The door creaked open, and in walked a group of people. They were dressed in robes, their faces obscured by hoods. I couldn't see who they were, but I could feel their malevolent energy. The man stood up, his hands shaking. I told you, he said, his voice shaking. I told you they could hear me. The robed figures surrounded him, and I watched in horror as they dragged him out of the cabin and into the storm. I never saw him again. But the worst part was yet to come. As I sat there in the silence that followed, I realized that I too could hear them. Those same voices that the man had been so afraid of. They whispered in my ear, promising me power and wealth if only I would join them. I never spoke of that night to anyone, but the voices never left me. And even now, years later, I can still hear them, whispering in the darkness.